Porsche unveiled the next-generation four-door Gran Turismo Panamera with a spectacular stage show. As 2009, Car tester Matas Korat remembers being at the Auto Shanghai in 2009 when the first Panamera was debuted. It was an attempt to broaden Porsche's appeal, but it met widespread skepticism. Those critics have since taken a back seat. Since seven years on, here's the second generation. In terms of design, it's not that different from the first. Overall, it has a cleaner look, but the most obvious innovation is at the rear. As Matas Kurat explains, this light bar strip was previously only on the 911 four-wheel drive model. The hatch is larger, changing the rear's overall look. And of course, the rear is what most people are going to be seeing of the new Panamera on the Autobahn. Not surprisingly for Porsche, its goal with the second-gen Panamera was to design the sportiest vehicle in the luxury sedan segment. To start, it offers a choice of three engines, two gasoline-powered and one 310-kilowatt V8 diesel. The Panamera Turbo has the most powerful gasoline-powered engine of the series, with four liters capacity, eight cylinders, and two turbochargers mounted inside the cylinder block. An even more powerful engine is soon to follow in the Panamera Turbo S. A spin around the Nürburgring's legendary north loop is proof positive of the 404-kilowatt twin-turbocharged engine's performance. Reaching top speeds of 306 kilometers per hour, the Panamera completed a lap in 7 minutes and 38 seconds. It's even faster than the last generation 911 Turbo. Test driver Lars Kern explains its long wheelbase makes cornering smoother, and the rear axle steering and active roll stabilization makes it feel unexpectedly agile, even at lower speeds. That's really what sets the Panamera apart. There's nothing unexpected about its interior's sleek and stylish look. It combines Porsche's trademark luxury with sophisticated technology. The look of the dashboard is an obvious nod to the first generation, says Matis Kurat, but the technology is state of the art. To the left and right of the proper analog tachometer are two 7-inch displays, showing speed, for example, along with various other functions. On the right, you can switch between navigation, night vision, all the features you'd expect from a Porsche. Navigation, Nachtsicht, alles Mögliche, was es halt so in einem modernen Sportwagen aus Zuffenhausen gibt. German Hollywood star Ralf Müller was at the premiere in late June and says the car feels tailor-made for him. Nearly two meters tall, he weighs 120 kilos, so he likes a car with plenty of legroom. This one's perfect. Ganz toll. It's a deluxe ride not only for the driver, says Matis. The Panamera offers both the performance of a sports car and the comfort of a luxury sedan, with generous space in back. Like in the front, the control system is modeled on the smartphone. And as he points out, tall passengers don't need to worry about bumping their heads. Größere Menschen haben hier Platz, also über meinem Kopf hier, da ist noch unglaublich viel Platz. Starting at a cool 113,000 euros in Germany, the new Panamera can already be ordered now, but deliveries won't begin until November. <laughs>